Hey yo together and very welcome to the Start of 2 Crazy Replays today on Ascension to Ayur Leather Edition. I think that's an old map. Yeah, sometimes I have old maps, but still those games weren't marked for no reason. So in the bottom right hand side you have the blue protos meant. Why is this happening all the time? Okay. And at the top left hand side in the red, it's me, Alex Asher. So let me check this this map. Okay. Ah, now I see. Yeah, yeah, that map. Is it an old map? I I have to say I don't play as much StarCraft 2 as I was used to. So, meh. This definitely can be. Oh, no. <coughs> ah, excuse me. So, nah. Okay. Oh, what I thought about. I don't know if I should say it. Should I say it? Because I'm still uncertain about it. But in my head, there is an idea. Uh, nothing special. <laughs> Actually, I tried it several times and I stopped. But in the last few days, I had the the, the urge to play XCOM 2 again, and still it can be so frustrating. I for sure want to go ahead and play this at least one time through on YouTube with you guys as my soldiers, but. It's still a very challenging game overall. It's really, really difficult. So I, I, I don't know if I should do this or not. For now, I'm really not sure. Looks like I'm going to play a 2 1 1 in this game so far, which can work quite nicely. And I did scout that there was a base coming up for Mint. So that's nice. Uh, after this game, I will cast one more game, then I'm done for for now, which is good. And I, then then I have three more to cast overall for later on, so that's nice. Uh, yeah. Oh, and and I was asked in the comments quite some time ago if I do offer coaching, and yes, still I do offer coaching uh, via uh, the game via via via. Or using the Gamer Sensei website, which is awesome. You can book me, you can hit me up in Skype, Alex Sasha SC2. SC2, I mean. Uh, in Skype, yep. Oh, will I get the probe? Mm, nice. And I. Whoa! Okay. But not too bad. A Reaper for a probe and a photon overcharge. Maybe I was able to scout the robo. Facility, but I'm not quite sure. At least I didn't see the, the gateways. Yeah. So you can you can hit me up and we can discuss the details if you want to. Good thing is I am able and willing to offer the first hour for zero dollar. Isn't this awesome? Yes, it is. So you can try me out. All you need to do, all you would need to do, is register there and tell me beforehand, um, before you register, so I can give you a special promo code, which is really helpful. Okay, but enough of this. Time for the game two one one, and yeah, we will see the double medivac drop here in this game. Potentially, if I have enough minerals, there we go. Uh, oh, and a fourth gateway. That's unusual. Normally you see three gates or five gates or seven gates, but four with a robo is a little bit uh, and twilight. Ah, there we go, six gate. Okay, so no nexus so far. That's for sure. Uh, it would be very unusual to see a nexus coming up after a protos went up to five gates. It needs to be some kind of aggression. Maybe war prism gladepts. We have the glaive adepts on the way. No forge for plus one, so those will not be able to one shot uh, to two shot marines. Need three shots. 
which is a little bit unfortunate. The double medivac drop on its way to mint and will find nothing at all. Which means for me, okay, I know, five minutes, no base, uh oh, something has to come up. And it could be, uh, 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 tell me, cloaked units, DTs, so that's where the turrets are for. Does he see it? Ah, oh, he, he, he could have got a glimpse on it. Interestingly, he's bunkering in the heart, so I see now no base at all, which should lead me to just evac, and that's it. Yeah, there we go. So I'll leave, leave some units behind, and that's fine. And behind that, follow my build order, stay defensively, because I am already ahead. I am playing Terran, so... I, I can't say it dif differently. I, I am basically ahead. Now my command center is on the way. I will get additional barracks done. I'm heavily supply kept again. Very bad for me, but it's 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 fine. No pressure. I couldn't really pressure him as well. I didn't scout. That's a big 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 mistake. I could have dropped here, stim in, bam 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 bam, deal some damage. Be nice. Maybe I should try this in, in the future. L lol. <laughs> A little hunt, sweet. Uh, but I'm scared, you know. I'm I'm almost I'm always quite scared. Yeah, this marine is so bad. Juke, juke. No juking for me. I'm always scared if I if I see no nexus here or here, like no nexus, no third base. And then I drop somewhere and lose my unit. That's not good. That's just not good. So I don't do it. Most of the time, although it would maybe be nice. Here we go for a small drop. Could work out. He's going up to even more gates. Wow, double forge with storm on two bases. That's that's very unusual. I mean, even in Heart of the Swarm, you went up to three bases fairly soon. Unless you went for a two base all in. But still, that's... that's oh. Especially if you go for for splash tag like High Templar or Colossus, you you want to have gas, and four gases is not quite a lot. Still no bases here, nor here. That's so unusual. I think he feed back the medivac. Yep, he did. Wow, good catch there. And the pylon might just survive. Yep, it does. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. So, Ghost Academy, as I saw the High Templar, which is really good for me to know now. And there we go. The sad part is, I didn't realize that he was playing like this, so I could have gone for fourth base already. And just macro myself up to 200, 200 with nice upgrades and then move across the map, deal heavy damage, bam. Big push, GG. If he slows himself down like that, it's the best to stay defensive, expand aggressively, macro up greedily, or greedy, or however you want to call it. Just be greedy as hell. Not too greedy, but greedy. And win. I didn't do this, so this game can still go either way. And also because I didn't play a lot lately, I hardly scow uh, scan for observer. It is bad. Scanning for observer is one of the best thing you can do with Terran. Uh, maybe I saw it now. No chance. And, and I, I'm presenting my strength towards him, so he knows exactly. Okay, he has a tank there, he has that there, that there, now the little, those are the upgrades, okay, I got this, I can attack and win, bam, bam. And that's bad, you want not to grant him this information at all. I now see him moving, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. The good thing is, I have EMPs ready, and if those hit, uh oh, uh oh, oh. Yep, no storm left, he needs to retreat. Wow. Good EMPs, nicely done. And he will do something. 
Now turning around, and I'm kiting a little bit here, not too much. But it's looking not too bad. There's one storm. Gets one marine kill, I guess. Not too bad. It's quite bad for a storm, but hey, it's that's how it is. And there we go, additional bearings. Up to eight. Very late. Super late. Uh, the gas is not properly taken here as well. Idle SUVs. Random tanks. Still the observer here. But maybe this can work out. We will see. Uh, the upgrades are looking better for me. Currently, I would say. Liberator on its way. Turrets on its way. Just in case of... Uh, War prison, which is exactly here. Will it escape? It should escape. Uh, but it took some damage already, so that's good. Now it's not really a threat to me anymore. If it wants to bypass my or pass by my turrets, there would be an opening right here. Uh, maybe not. Uh, here, maybe then go there. And then warp in on top of this tank, potentially. So the warp prism escapes for now. That's good. Still on three bases. And he's heavily oversaturated. Like, like look at that. 31 on, of, of 16. But still, he's in the game. He's doing quite good. Even though he's not really capitalizing on, on bases that much. He is still looking good. And this drop would do nothing. So the question is, is this medivac safe here? I do see the cannons. Yep. Ah, he wants this so bad. <laughs> he could try to hallucinate a phoenix, attack, and if it's not on hold position, it will move away into the cannon. But it looks like he just wants to feedback it, and then it's dead. Also, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Planetary on its way, finally. There we go. I should mule a little bit more. I'm not really consistent with my mules. One or two mules every minute would be nice. Yep. Oh, I like that move. So, having the High Templar in the War Prison, yes, it can be dangerous against Vikings, but against EMPs, those are safe. And that's really good. Looks like we have an upcoming attack here on the fourth base of Ment. He is ahead in army supply, so this could go his way. A nice storm on top of the Liberator. I have some ghosts. Staying on top of the storm is not good. Oh, the ghosts. The ghosts are the game changer here. Those those EMPs when hit... Oh, the sentry! No! So he goes in with all the adepts. Ni yeah, instant EMP. A nuke as well here. He does kill... Slowly but surely the ghost. It looks like. Or maybe not. The nuke goes down. Viking dies to the cannons. Pylon is ripped, wrecked, and GG. But the rest of his army is still alive, and look, it's it's looking good for him. All those liberator, super dead. And uh, I need to evac here. Storm on the tank. I don't know about this, but yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. He is chasing me now. 2-2 two, two against 2-2 two, two as well. I have a plan to fall back, but no tanks here to go. No EMP left, so... Uh, and 5 Colossus. How the hell do I want to... to oh, another good storm. I don't know if I can defend this. Attacking into a planetary is always difficult. And a dangerous task here. Good storm, killing a lot of SUVs, limiting the repair I can... Uh, give to the planetary here, but it looks like one Colossus almost dies Maybe but the Colossus is not finally attacking the bio, but he overstepped a little bit and two Colossus died 
So now there are Vikings out, four Vikings, the tank is coming here. And he's not really pushing aggressively into this planetary, which would be a bad choice, I guess. But he, he loses it. Most of the attacks from the Colossus went, from the Colossi, however, went into the planetary fortress. Now he overstepped, he lost all his ex expensive units. Mm, that's not too good, to say the least. Not too good. Oh, that's bad. 10 of 2, 8 or 6 of 2. Oh man, that's really bad. And still, full energy orbital, like, like, bad stuff. So, yeah, F2 for the win. He needs to spread his observer again. And he definitely should do this. Which he also is doing, so that's nice. And, yeah. What's going on right here? We don't know. Archons, definitely a good bulk for his army. Uh, useful against Vikings as well. Soaking up a lot of EMPs, so that's not too bad. But will it be enough? This game's still not over. I am 40 supply ahead, but yeah, I don't finish it. Ah, Disruptor. Okay, now he goes into Disruptor. That's not too bad. Where's the medevac? There's the medevac. Okay, I am recording right here. Okay. <laughs> Good. I still didn't scan nor scout for any of I mean, you see it. You can, you can see it if you want to. You could also do this in order to check it. If you want to. So this base should be dead. Nice EMP attempt. Not hitting too much. But yeah, this base is toast. And I don't know, the kiting is real. The disruptor needs to hit good. Oh, that's not enough. Only three kills here. Two more to come, but where? So far away. I don't think he can hold this. Disruptor on F2 will die. <coughs> no storms left. It's not looking good. There's just too much stuff. Again, no storms left here. Liberation zone. Killing much. Nice EMP. The Archon died before it can merge. This. Nice kills. No kills. No, that's, that's just too much damage. GG. Well played, and with that, I'm done for now. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day, and goodbye. Hey, oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback, or suggestions? Put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye-bye.